Thank the gentleman, uh, Mr. Smith, uh, not just for the introduction, but for the fine work you've done for so many years, sir, uh, as well as Joe Pitts, uh, our good friend and colleague. Uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, I speak to you this evening as a physician of over 30 years, a father and a grandfather, and I have delivered myself many hundred babies and have found that uh, that is one of the most important and intimate times in a person's life is taking part of and in some way delivering a baby. Uh, nonetheless, we have today uh, a problem since uh, Roe v. Wade uh, that we're in great grievance about. You know, you heard uh, Mr. Wahlberg so eloquently talk about the passages from the Bible that describe about knitting me in the womb and knowing me even before being born. But also, Mr. Speaker, do you realize that the DNA of every uh, conceived life is unique into history? There will never be another like it. And in my opinion, that's God's opinion that that is a separate and a distinct human being and a person upon itself. Let me share some facts with you. Do you realize, Mr. Speaker, that the heart begins beating at 23 days? after conception, that the fetus be begins to feel pain as early as 20 weeks and maybe even earlier. We're still waiting for some studies on that. So certainly any abortion that's committed in the middle or third trimester is obviously extreme agony for any type of fetus. Some other important facts. While there were approximately 744,000 abortions in 1973, the, the time of Roe v. Wade, that actually peaked in 1990 at 1 1.6 million. It has come down. It's come down today to 1.2 million. Not nearly low enough. Do you realize also, Mr. Speaker, that over $487 million of taxpayer money is used each year to go to Planned Parenthood, which is the biggest, the number one provider of abortions in this country, committing over 320,000 innocent life deaths each year. But there are things we're doing that are effective. You heard me say that we're down from a peak of 1.6 million down to 1.2 million. And what are some of the things that we can do and have done? My home state, Louisiana, uh, which was chosen by uh, uh, AUL to be number one in abortion law, has done the following. Uh, a mother-to-be must wait at least 24 hours uh, after notification to actually have an abortion. She must be provided with information so she can read about this and have a cooling off period before making that final decision. She must receive information about fetal pain, what I mentioned just a moment ago, and that she must be allowed, if she chooses, to, to view a sonogram to see what that fetus actually looks like, her potential baby. And Louisiana has declared that the unborn child is a human being and is therefore a person. So, Mr. Speaker, there's a lot that we've done. There's a lot more we can do. Although I want to see Roe v. Wade overturned, there's still many good laws that we can produce that I think, uh, and certainly defunding of organizations that uh, provide these abortions, that can sharply lower these numbers. So there's so much more we can do. We shouldn't just hold out for overturning Roe v. Wade, we should act today. Thank you, and I yield back.